Thank you for the lives of everybody in this place represented. And we thank you for the life of our pastors, everlasting Father. King of glory, as our pastor is about to preach, Jehovah King of glory, we pray that you use them to minister to each and every one of us, everlasting Father. That the words that he might speak, everlasting Father, might not be his, but you through him, everlasting Father. Jehovah King of glory, minister to each and every of our situations, everlasting Father. And let not, let not us go out the same way we came back in, everlasting King of glory. Transform our minds, Father Lord, and we rebuke every spirit of confusion and distraction in this place, Jesus Jehovah, Father Lord. Name. Connect us to you, everlasting Father. Hallelujah. Less of us and more of you in this place, everlasting King of glory. Mm. We magnify your name and we glorify your name for it is in Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe, everlasting Father, that you are going to do something new in this place today. Amen. 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 Eh? Amen. Can you have to the Lord? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Oh, we thank God for our being here. We thank God for the Aha. Let's begin by reading the word of God. Let's begin by reading We take the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 5. We take Luke, Luke, Evangelion. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 1. Luke, chapter 8. Verse 5 to 20. Verse 22. <coughs> you can read. In Danish or English? Depends. Okay. I read in English. Mm. Luke chapter 1, verse 5 to 20. It says, There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was of the daughters of both righteous before God. Sorry, his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, mm. and her name was Elizabeth. Mm. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances, ordinances of the Lord blameless. Mm. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, mm. and they were both well advanced in years. Mm, mm, mm. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, mm. according to the custom of the priesthood, Mm. His lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. Mm. And the multitude of the people was praying outside at the hour of incense. Mm. There was then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. Mm. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled and felt fear fell upon him. Mm. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard. Underline it. And your wife, Elizabeth, will bear your son, mm. and you call his name John. Underline it. Amen. Mm. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. Mm -hmm. For he will, be in great, he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. Mm. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, mm. even from his, his mother's womb. Mm -hmm. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord, mm -hmm. and power of Eli and the pow and power of the sorry. He will also go before him in the wait just a second. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. Mm -hmm. He will also go before him in the spirit and power of Elisha. Yes. To turn the hearts of the fathers and the children mm -hmm. and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. To make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Mm. And Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is well advanced in, in years. Mm. And the angel answered and said to him, mm. I am Gabriel, mm. who stands in the presence of God, mm -hmm. and was sent to speak to you, mm -hmm. and bring to you these glad tidings. Mm -hmm. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. But behold... You will be mute and not able to speak until the day these things take place, mm. because you did not believe my because words. Because you did not believe my words. Which will be fulfilled in their own time. Thank you so much. We have entitled it as "What is impossible to man, it is always possible before God." We have said it, and at that I am only for men, I am only for good. The impossible before you. Did I mull it for thy? It's possible before God. I mull it for and good. The Red Sea before you, impossible to cross over. 
det røde havn yeah. foran dig, der er umuligt at komme forbi. It is for God possible you to cross it over. For God, the mood will come over. I like when you are blessed. Just if you if you feel it's a man, just say amen. We so feel that the man is here. Show the joy in the house of the Lord. Just give peace, glory in Jesus. It encourages, eh? The upman door. Amen, eh? Amen. It makes the whole the glory of God to to move around. The God at God's nerve am beversa. So. The impossible to man is always possible before God. Can we can you tell it to your neighbor? Can we see this was neighbor? What is impossible for man? It is always possible. So if there is something you are looking for that it seems impossible, be courageous that it is possible for God to do it. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen, eh? Amen. You know, you understood in uh, in uh, in John chapter four. You understood in John chapter four. What read, the, the sister she read, Where the pastor there. Least, was past, eh? yes. It was difficult for the woman to leave the five and the and, and the, the last one. Because it it always will have, have been difficult for for her to leave even the five she had before. Det var umuligt for kvinden at forlade de fem plus den ene, fordi det var allerede svært for hende at forlade den før de første fem. That why in in her answer she was not that. In other in other answers she was saying sir. At that time she did not say sir. She wanted to defend her son. That that is the truth of the gospel. They are sent with uh, with Guzwa. You know some. What, you know what to bring this. Sometimes we as human beings. We look at the at the situations as a mountain which cannot be moved. We look at the situation as some bjau that it can be based. And the woman. <laughs> And the woman did not know there could have been something special for her. But the impossible to her was possible to Jesus. Amen. Eh? Amen. It doesn't matter what you are going through. The impossible for you is possible to God. So many people they are afraid. They have had testimonies. They have gone through many things in their lives. And they have surrendered. They know for me nothing else can happen spiritual. Especially when they hear some of the teachings. They feel already condemned. I want to tell you this. There is still grace. Amen. Eh? The impossible for you before you, it is possible before God. He did so before Zachariah. Before Elizabeth. And he can do it for you too. At 80 years old, it was impossible for a human being to accept that the angel said and it would happen for Elizabeth. Even for Zachariah, he was a great, a, 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 he, he, was, he was a priest. And it, it, it became difficult also for him to believe. Until the last word we read. What the angel Gabriel said to him. You will not be able to see, neither to talk. You will not be able to talk. Until what I said happens. 
I want to tell you don't be afraid. There is still something new for you to come. And the grace in your, in your, is on your door coming. Something you have never seen in your life, they will be, will be, they will be coming. I'm bringing you a message for today. I know last time when we were together, you were so afraid. I remember the last night we, have, we had an overnight here. People, they went home afraid. I think so. I, according to the, to, the, to the debate we have, we had at that time. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> Eh? It, it is true that that's what the sister said. It is true. The truth will remain true. But, but sisters and brothers, it is not all. The grace is still there. Amen. Eh? As long as we stand in faith, we pray God. And we commit truly our lives before him. We surrender truly our lives to him. I can tell you right and now. Those problems you are, you are referring yourself to into your life. They are not difficult before God. doesn't matter the way you are crying right now. I don't know the problem you have. But I'm just, pre I'm just preaching that you may have this perspective of, of having, a what, having a new faith into Christ. To don't be afraid. Because God is going to create a new way. Into you. Now, coming, the birth of John Baptist and the birth of Jesus was almost the same. The coming of John Baptist was prophesied before. And you, and you know, and you know, before this happened in Luke chapter one, there was already four hundred years since God said through the through, through the mouth of prophet Malachi. What God said, there will come. A, a person to prepare a way. We read it. <clears throat> I would like, before we, we enter, you enter the message, we take again Luke chapter 1. Yeah, 36. For, for, for become any, uh, Continue to start to 36. Luke is chapter 8, verse 6, it's hard. Mm. And it says, mm. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son mm. in her old age, Mm. And this is now the sixth month for her mm. who was called barren. Mm. For with God, nothing is, it will be impossible. Mm -hmm. Then Mary said, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord, mm. let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Read chapter 7. Um, for with God, nothing will be impossible. <laughs> Amen, eh? Amen. Amen, eh? Amen. This, is, this was now a message of the coming of the, of the Messiah, Jesus yeah, Christ. Was at the Messiah Amen, eh? Amen. Because Elizabeth and Mary, they were relatives. Um, then the angel appears the same as it had, as appeared to, uh, to, to, to Zachariah. Um, then her angel come. It Samuel was in the same way. Come, he come to Zachariah. Then Mary, Mary also, it was difficult for her really to, to accept, to know something, the thing, the message the angel brought. For Maria, there was that of the the angel was a message to have, was something to happen in her life. At the busket, to say, at no busket because first of all, Mary, she had, she had, she had, she had a girl, a boyfriend. She was a virgin. And the message they brought to her, something will happen just 
just like that, without a man, without fecundation. For you, for you to leave a person you love so much and to accept something will happen which can, according to you, can make you to do what? To separate from the one you love so much. It is impossible, almost impossible for a human being to understand this. But in 37, what the angel is saying to Mary, the same angel, because the angel Gabriel is a messenger angel of God. Amen. Eh? The same angel who came to Daniel. In Daniel, amen. Eh? So here, the angel said to Mary, for nothing will be impossible before God. That's why it will have to happen. Here, we are, we are trying to talk about Christmas, this season which we are living in, we are right now, here in now. Because the thing of Jesus Christ is difficult, even, by, even now, very hard for people, some of the people, to, to, to believe. And then ensure you that what is impossible for a man to believe is possible for God to do it. Now, in, in, in Malachi 4, 5 to 6, I can lay the Malachi 4, 5 to 6. Why must Elijah come before the ending time? Before For Elijah's return will be to turn the hearts of fathers and their children to each other. That's the first reason. In other words, the goal will be the reconciliation. Um, Father to a child. You are saying, Father when you are, you, are, you, are, you are passing by, we are going into our families, we even alone. Which are happening here and now. Children, they are not respecting their parents any longer. When they are in the age, uh, in the, and they, they are not in the age to come with their boyfriend at home. No, the mother has have, has nothing to say, to talk about this issue. Mom before her. The father has nothing to talk about this. Because the system allows her to do so. The system allows her to do so. For the system, tell her he no got it. Are we sisters? I'm going to talk with the system. Are we going to allow the system to lead us or we are going to allow the Bible to lead us? It has a question. Amen. We go to the mothers. We go to the mothers. In Denmark. Me, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm doing the, the, the management in administration, public administration. Uh, yeah, this I'm dealing with the system. Yeah, 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 yeah. In, in Denmark, the first, it is a woman. <laughs> in Denmark, the first, it is a woman. It is a, it is a, it's a, it's a child. The band. It's a child. The, band. the next, it is a woman. The next, it is a woman. And another one, the third one, it is a dog. The next is a deer. Yeah. The fourth one, it is a man. And then the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 5. Our Bible tells us in Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. Yeah, Ephesians chapter 5. God, he's the first in the heaven. Jesus, he's the number two in the middle. So in and then the man he is after Jesus oh, man, on the top. Jesus, 
And then the woman is okay. created here under the man. And then also the child she is under under, yeah. under under both of you. And then he said, also said a, a woman has to be submissive. In Quinske, um, man shall respect. In men, in men, in men, in some of the homes, men they have nothing to, 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 to talk about in how the ongoing of the house will be. In OEM, when we, talk, we are talking about this, we are, we are not talking about the, the, the bad authority. Yes, no, we tell them they have to tell like, the dolly or so I say. The power to feel yourself, you have power because your power, the power of the person is standing on the person's personality. If you don't use your personality to, to, to manage your power, then you are less. You are not a good leader. Din kraften er afhængig af din personalitet, og hvis du ikke bruger din kraft eller hvis du ikke bruger din personalitet ordentligt, så kommer du ikke til et visse punkt i dit i i institution. Now I'm asking the father and the mother. Nu spørger fædrene og mødrene. Shall we allow the system to lead us or the Bible to lead us? Skal vi lade Bibelen eller skal vi lade systemet lede os eller skal vi lade Bibelen lede os? Amen. As a good Christian, you have to allow the Bible to lead you. According to the system we have here, here I'm meaning here in Denmark, uh, in Scandinavia. Yeah, because when 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 the child is coming first, then it is not the biblical structure. When the woman comes the next, it's not a biblical structure. You understand me well. Yeah, we, we are not. We are trying to teach now. I think let's take things. Yeah, let's take things into consideration. Mm. This is a biblical teaching. Yeah. Uh, he is saying that according to the system, the child is number one. Mm. So come the mother, and some houses they come when they have animals. So the animals. Before the father. Before the father. And as it's a matter of fact that when we look at the system over here, the system demands that the child must have this right. That is what the system is teaching. So if there is something the father says, this is not good for the child, I don't I don't think this is good for my child's welfare. But the child insisted that this is what I want. And if the parents, say, the father said no, then the child has to report at the school maybe, or report at the community. So, let's, go. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's continue this. We are, not, we are not talking about this to say a man shall be just a man as we, as as just we, we are talking it as human beings. In a way of spiritual structure and accordingly to the how, the how God tells us us to behave as, as Christians. You know, the, the problematic is that there is no respect by now between a woman and the and the and the man. Did I problematic in houses they, they, which are which are not safe. Did I problematic that there are no respect between man and queen in the house that And this is why here in the land we are having a lot of divorces. Or they therefore they have learned having more skills. Because woman woman they are fight they are failing to, to determine their places in their home. For the cleaner, the 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 um the 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 And when some men who have no this this way of this strategy of submitting themselves in a state in state, then uh, it becomes a problem of the world. And a man can hear like a finula or blue or a illness or something, so there is also a problem. The balance is very important. 
balance ni mavi Amen, eh? Amen. And I'm telling you no matter what happens what is impossible to a man is possible before God. No matter what problem you are facing maybe it is one of these we are talking about. God can still change your marriage into a happy marriage. Yes. Why did Jesus come? Why did he come? The Bible gives us numerous purpose for the coming of Jesus to this earth. But among the reason that the Bible gives us Oh. the reasons why Jesus came, I have only 21. The, fundament, the, the, the fundamental ones. Number one. Number eight. He came to fulfill the prophecy of Isaiah. This is number one. And the Savior could come or at the Messiah's come. Who is Jesus? Vem er Jesus. John 3:16. Jo, uh, For God loved his world. For God elsker sin verden. He didn't verden. want you to perish. Han vil ikke have at du skulle nede helt ud. This is the reason number one why Jesus. Det er første grund til at Jesus er kommet. To save you from your captivity. Til falsk dig fra evighed. And that is why no matter what. Og det er derfor lige meget hvad. There is nothing impossible before God. Der er intet der umuligt for Gud. Nobody to condemn you. Der er ikke nogen der skal um, sige noget på dig. Because dig. Jesus had a death. Fordi Gud har har uh, Gud han døde på korset. Amen. Eh? Amen. Eh? Amen. You know in English we use uh, we use the word past perfect. På engelsk så bruger vi over um, den perfekte fortid and the, the, the past continuous tense og det uh, past continuous tense yeah, okay. the fortid the fortid do you know why we don't you, do you know why we don't have Jesus on the cross we will probably change Jesus uh, på korset i mange kirker <coughs> do you know why we don't have Jesus on the on the cross in the pentecost we will probably hang up Jesus cross på korset i pentecost We use the past perfect tense. For we brought then a perfect fortune. Jesus has died once for all. Jesus and do in that for all. Amen. Eh? Yeah. He has died once for all Amen. for you for me. There is no condemnation. There is no how to condemn yourself. I will not get over this because he has died for you and he can still manage your problem what no matter what. Han døde en gang for alle, for alle vores synd, og der er ikke noget andet, han kan, uh, at vi ikke kan gøre, fordi han har taget det hele. No matter the, the husband you have, you have had in your life, lige meget den mand, du har haft i dit liv, as the Samaritan woman, ligesom den Samaritan, even the last one you have, maybe he, she, he is not yours, she selv, is not yours. Selv den sidste, du har, det er måske ikke din, og hun er måske ikke din. No matter the situation, God can still make you to stand. All the most of the Catholic churches, not most of the Catholic churches, but all the, the Catholic churches. All Catholic churches. They have Jesus hanging, hang, 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 Jesus hang on the cross. Dying on the cross. He has not. He has never. He has never. He has never moved. He has never moved from the cross. He has never moved from the cross. He is is still dying on the cross. And you are still the cross. That is why the son who will be born, son son the first, he did you. He has never died once for all. And I also do in gang for all. In those in those in the in such kind of life, a no a a no a did you. Therefore, therefore you will you will find the person who has no fear. The person has no fear for sin. Og det er derfor en person, du finder en person har ikke noget frygt for synd. When your Jesus is still dying for the cross. Når din Jesus stadigvæk dør på korset. Ah, uh, nothing will happen. Der er ikke noget, der kommer. Unless you enjoy life. Lad os nyde det. And he, he's still dying, he takes it. Han dør stadigvæk, vi tager det. Eh, you know, you are not ready that he may come to 
know know that he may come to because he's still dying, he's there, you can see him. Do you drink crap or you come and want to crap or Amen, eh? Amen, eh? You are not afraid of sin. Do I thank for sin? But a one who is who is you the one who is using the past perfect maintain the poor perfect force when you when when you when, when you went wrong in your life devil do pick for care did you you remember hey jesus may come right and now to push god jesus and come on muske and then no boy in the situation hallelujah if he reach if he finds me in this situation I'm going to go where am I going to be what will I have done what I have done in all my life you see then you remember to come on the cross of Jesus Christ you see then you remember to come on the cross of Jesus Christ let you stand up let's stop let you let us stand up where we are stop that will be yeah hallelujah amen There is power, power, wonder-waking power in the blood, in the blood of, the Lamb. of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-waking power in the precious blood. Maybe you are still afraid in your life. Mosquito still with bang it you. You are still using this past continuous tense. To what still with past continuous tense it you. And you are still enjoying your life as you are. Or do you know still with the you some to ah. Jesus is calling you. He is still up right there. He still can in your life. And still and cast all the kid you. He can still give you a new foundation, a new beginning. Still God give a new fundament, a new beginning. Amen, eh? Amen. No matter what you went through in your life. Lima ver kiki game it you. Maybe you were not afraid before of sin. Moske ba re pang fa for sure. Because you may have not understood about such a word. To moske ka for sure. It was something. And if you have understood it, you didn't get it well. Obviously, for so the so fit 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 for the owner. Maybe you get you got you got it well, <laughs> but <laughs> you were still going around. Must keep to only fit for them and to kick start the ground. Remember the plan of Satan in 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 in, in John chapter 10 verse 10. Who's uh, Jones plan in Johannes and we look up to verse 10. Is to destroy. They are early. Is to kill. They are drive He's trying he's trying to push you aside. Temple of Vianda. You to enjoy your life as you want. Oh, I can no delude some to be. That you may end in hell. I do come my hell. But Jesus is still calling for Many you. Many you send hell us love for us. Amen. No matter what. He can still give you grace. Thank you so much for no tell you. Look into yourself. No in it as no matter what maybe it is the sicknesses that doctors they told you they will not be healed any longer some less said i be come terribly help for me there are complicated situation that you felt no this will not happen complicated situation or some do think they had to come today you have heard it can still be possible before you come they had heard this still they move it And the God who did the miracle at the time of apostles he can still do it for you. Oh God some hand God miracle in this what the apostles apostles um can serve God for I did. He did it for Mary, she did it for Elizabeth. God for Elizabeth. At the age of say, of, of 80. Uh, for, uh, And she got jo- John Baptist. Oh, he can still do it for you also. Thank you so much God for us. Doesn't matter the old you have you are now. Doesn't matter the way you have gone through. But God can still change your life. But remember, you may be a boundary a hindering in your life in your in your home. God gave Abraham a promise when he was 70 years old. God gave Abraham 
han lod Abraham noget da han var 70 år gammel. For Abraham this promise to not happen after one year of the promise. For at Abraham ikke det her det som Gud han lod ikke skete efter et år. It was because Sarah did not believe. Det var fordi Sarah ikke troede på det. And they were married to. When you were married to you were one. Og de var gift to mennesker og når du er gift to mennesker så The Bible declares this. Until Sarah herself also believed in God, then the blessings of Abraham at a 100 year of Abraham began to overflow. Amen. Eh? Amen. Eh? You know, you are a man or you are a woman. If your were, if your man is still bound, is still bound. Your husband, your, your wife is still bound. And you are here, you know your, you know the situation you are going through. Remember, you are a boundary to your, your wife's blessing. You are a boundary to your husband's blessing. You need to give Jesus your life to open the supernatural release in your house. Amen. Eh? You just you just close your eyes. For one second. For Those who, who need to pray for them, they 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 just raise their hands up. Just run the, run the hand where you are up. You need a prayer, you just lift your hand where you are. You want to pass the 2016 in a harmony with God, you just, just put your hand up. Are there diseases? Are there diseases? Are they trouble in your life? Are they problem in your life? Situation you went through the last week and this week. Situation or do you think again, sister, what then how would that go to be? You are trying to say, I will get off from here, from this situation, and it is always coming before you. I can see you know it yourself where you are. A God is looking at you. Romans chapter 8, verse 27. It is your, it is your message. Romans chapter 8, verse 27. Right, right, eight. God, he sounds your heart. He knows what is inside. You can hide me. You can hide Daniel. You can hide Joyce. You can hide the others. But you cannot hide God. But what I'm bringing for you today, God can still change that situation. Amen. Amen. Eh? Those who have fruit, their hands up, they come here. Them that Let's pray. Have I'm not going to do it. 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 I
God is doing a lot of wonderful things. And it is amazing. Well, why do we pray? The goes like this that the Bible says from the beginning in the book of Genesis. It says God created everything. Everything. He has spoken and everything came to be. And he looked at all things that he created. And he said they are good and so well. And he said let us create man. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Let's create man in our own image. And in our likeness. And he did it so. And the Bible emphasized that after creating man, God has given man dominion to rule or to dominate over everything that he God has created. That is upon the earth. And when we study the Bible, the Bible says, and God took from the earth and he created man. You are from the earth. 
and God used the earth to create you. That means you are connected to this earth. And you have the power and authority over the earth. That is God's intention. Hallelujah. And that's why he took from the earth. And he formed you. And he said, he gave you the dominion. That means he gave the authority, the power to rule over the earth. Let me ask you one question. Are we ruling over the earth? Are we doing that? No. <laughs> we are not ruling. <laughs> Let me ask you one question more. Are we saying when we are sitting here, and then lion, suddenly lion appear here, are we going to sit down? No. Will you sit down? You will run. Why? Hallelujah. <laughs> the Bible says God has given you power and authority over that lion. <laughs> then why do you run? I will explain it. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 When we go to Genesis chapter 3, the Bible says God said one thing to man. He said, I have given you everything, 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 in exception of one thing. Everything you are to rule and to dominate over it, but in exception of one thing, that thing you shouldn't touch it. And do not eat of it. Now, the day you touch it, surely you will die. Mm. What happened? Man disobeyed God. God did not curse man. But man chose to disobey God. The right and the authority that God had given to man to rule, to dominate. Man sold it. Man has given it out. To the enemy. He listened to the enemy. The enemy deceived him. And he obeyed the enemy. And he, the authority and the power being given to man, has been taken away from man. The devil became the ruler because man has sold his domination to the enemy through disobeying God. Amen. Here trouble lies because what God has given to you. For example, today if I have given you my best and everything that is inside. And I say, I have given it to you. That means I have given it to you. You can use it for anything you want to use it for. I said, I have given it to you. I have given it to you. So God has given the earth to us to dominate. So we have chosen to give it out. What we read in the Bible, in Revelation chapter 12, when we read, verse number 12, we will see that, and the Bible says, and there was war in heaven. Hallelujah. Mm. And Michael and his angels, they fought back. And the dragon, that old dragon, has been driven up from heaven. And he fell on the earth. And the Bible described it and they said there was joy in heaven. That means the devil has no power in heaven. He has no place in heaven. He can't decide anything. He can never interfere. And then when we read further, the Bible says, Where to the people on the earth? For the enemy, the devil. The old dragon that has been cast come down to the earth to where to the children living on the earth. Amen. Amen. So now, 
we can see the reason why that enemy is here. He has been driven from heaven. And he fell on the earth. And now we sold our but right now, giving our dominion to him. So now, when we want to do something, like that we plead with him to give it to us. And we seek the presence of our Father. So now, on earth, we have two rulers ruling. God, before God will come and intervene, that means his children have to invite him. You have to say, and you have to tell God, God, at this moment, this day, I can't do it on myself. In the searching, you come to intervene on my behalf. Give me that power and authority. Hallelujah. Then I'll be able to carry out what I'm doing. Amen, amen, amen. So that is the reason why Jesus, who is being described as God, when he came here, even though he's God, mm. he cannot do anything on himself. He said, everything that I am doing, it is the authority that I carry from my father. It is only the authority, only what has been given to me, is what I am doing. Hallelujah. So therefore, if Jesus wants to do something, he connects himself with the Father mm. and says, Father, I am here on earth. Mm. The devil is dominating here. Hallelujah. I need you to I need your presence. Yeah. I need you to come down right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, come on, Hallelujah. Come on. Then God carry out his mission through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. That is how the thing is. When, when we read further in the book of uh, Revelation, mm. uh, let us see something in the book of Revelation chapter. I shall see something that I can tell you. Revelation 4. I don't know. Hallelujah. Revelation 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven. Yeah. Michael and uh, Michael and uh, his angel fought against the, the dragon. And the dragon and his angel fought back. Then he was not strong enough. And they lost their place in heaven. Amen. Amen. Then you read uh, verse number 12. Now, verse number 12 says this Therefore, rejoice, you heavens and you who dwell in them, but who to the east of the sea, because the devil has, uh, the devil has gone down to you. He is he, uh, he is failed with with, with fire. Because he know that his time is so short. Yeah. Amen. We want you the earth and the sea only kwa dunia na kwa bahari. Because the devil sababu shitani. He is been driven from heaven. Bila ngao ishusha kutoka mbinguni. He came anakucha. And he because he knows his time is short. So he is furious. 
working so hard anatumika na nguvu sana to carry people with him ili kuachukua watu pamoja naye to his own kingdom awaweke katika ufalme wake so if you can pray kama hauwezi kwa Mungu if you can give yourself to god kama hauwezi kujipatia ushifana wa mwenyewe kwa Mungu you are already in the kingdom of the enemy uko katika ufalme wa adui hallelujah he carry you amekuchukua into his kingdom anakubeba katika ufalme wake let's read something in the book of luke acha tusome katika kitabu cha luka it speaks about jesus eh tutaenda kuzungumzia mtume yesu christ luke chapter 4 Eh Luka sura ya 4. Let's just read verse number 1 to 4. Acha tusome sura yake ya kwanza, mstari wa kwanza na mpaka ile. Luke chapter 1. Yeah, Luke chapter 4. Yeah. Then for says. Yeah. Jesus full of full of Holy Spirit mm-hmm. returned from the Jordan. Mm-hmm and was led by the, the holy spirit mm-hmm. in the desert yeah. where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil mm-hmm. he he ate nothing during those days mm-hmm. and at the end of them he was hungry mm-hmm. three the devil said to him if you are the son of god tell these stones to be to become bread pastor is okay you just leave it there yes Jesus that the Bible described as the son of God. Kama Yesu the other hand as to God. Yeye kama Mungu. The Bible says after he came out from the Jordan River. Inasema kama wakati alitoka katika mto Yordan. The spirit led him to the wilderness. Kwa Mungu akamuongoza katika jam. For 40 days and 40 nights he did not eat anything. That means he had been fasting. Na alikuwa anaomba maombi ya kufunga. God being in fasting Mungu anakuwa katika maombi the devil was be able to approach him na shetani alimkaribia and tempted him na akamjaribu the how much more you human being a mere person like me sasa itakuwa je kwako wewe kama mwanadamu are you not expecting any temptation from the enemy je hautumainia how 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 do you overcome it kwa shetani But which way how can you overcome the devil namna gani utashinda shetani there is no other means you can overcome the enemy hakuna njia nyingine unaweza kwa in the section of the word of god and in the prayers hallelujah and the bible says he tempted jesus but jesus was able to answer him with the word of god and that is it written anamwambia imeandikwa hallelujah It is written that man should not live by bread alone. But every word that cometh from the word of God. Amen. Amen. So we can't use any weather any other weapon. No. to destroy the works of the enemy. And the enemy we can even not Stand with standing. Na hatuwezi tukasema mbele yake. We have no strength. Hatuna nguvu. He has power and authority. Iko na nguvu na uwezo. His powers has not been taken from him. Na ni mwake ichukuliwa. You can only overcome him with that power of God. When you go God and God intervene on your behalf. But with your own understanding you can never. Lakini kwa nguvu zako mwenyewe hauwezi. So don't look at yourself and said i am a christian therefore god is with me ndio maana mungu yuko pamoja nami do everything for me na atafanya hicho kwa ajili yako god is there for you mungu yuko pale kwa ajili yako you must show that you love him you obey yourself you humble yourself to him you are under his care na unajishusha mbele yake na watu wale ambao you call him na kumuita that he appears na wakati unamuita anatoka he at on your behalf amen amen hallelujah let's read something here acha tusome neno lingine hapa from the book of luke again acha tusome katika kitabu cha luke read chapter 18 eh luke 18 and uh, we going to read from verse 1 to 8 tutaanzia kwa mstari wa kwanza mpaka mna it's a, a parable that jesus told his disciples. Um, pastor, 
16. Yeah, 18 says. Yeah. One. Then Jesus told, told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Ah, what? What is this? Listen uh, to that please. That Pastor. they should always pray and not give up. Okay. It's Amen. not me who is saying it. Eh? No, so the, Bible, the Bible is saying yes. that this is a parable that Jesus told the disciples. Yes. That they should always pray and we'll not to give us. Yes. Okay, Pastor, then tell us something over there. And then he said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared about, about men. Three. And there was a widow in the town that kept coming to him with a, with a plea. Grant uh, grand, uh, grand, me, me justice against my adversary. Yes. Four. For some time, he refused. Yeah. But finally, he said to him, mm -hmm. to himself, mm -hmm. even though I don't fear God mm -hmm. or care about men, mm -hmm. yet because this widow kept both, uh, bothering me, me. Mm. I will see that she gets justice <laughs> so that she Jesus. won't eventually wear, uh, wear, uh, eventually wear me out with her coming. Uh, amen, Pastor. Thank you. Amen. 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 This is a parable that Jesus told his disciples. Mm. They said, Jesus, not me. Jesus. Even the, the Bible didn't say Paul. Mm -hmm. It didn't say Peter. No. But it said Paul, uh, Jesus himself, mm. told the disciples mm. that they should pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. He said, in this city, there is a certain widow, and there is a judge in that city. <laughs> this judge, he neither fear God, nor respect any body at all. But there is a widow in that city, who kept on coming to the judge. Judge, please. Judge this case for me when and set me free from my adversaries. Because this I am innocent. Show me justice in this case. Because the judge didn't fear God and he doesn't respect anybody. He didn't care. But the woman kept on coming. He know he don't want to show her justice. She kept on coming. And the judge is now fed up. For the woman not to come and bother him anymore. He said, oh, I have to show this woman justice. Amen. When the enemy attack you, you can't do anything. You are praying to God, he's not listening to you because you are sin. Mm. Continue to pray and bother God. Say, God, amen, please amen. Not show me justice. God, you can show me justice. Mm. You are not so wicked. Hallelujah. You are not the God that condemns. Mm. But you are God that pleads with your children. That amen. Amen. And then at the end, God will show you justice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will never come back to God. But now, how will you Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. How many times do you pray there? How many times do you bother God with your, with your problems? Mm. You sit unconcerned and say, oh, this one. Oh, the devil is worrying me too much. Oh, this devil I can't. Oh, this I can't no more. How do you pray? Mm. You have been given the authority. It's just to get on your knees and say, God, this one I know you will do. You will surely do. I will overcome my enemy. This thing will go. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It will go. Mm. Oh, Jesus. You know, we have been in this church for some long time. We have to grow. We are sitting. The Bible says, and God says to 
Moses. Tell the children of Israel you have been here for a long time. You have been patrolling here for many times. You go on and protect the possession. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are you waiting for? You have to take step, my brothers, my sisters. If we didn't take step, God will not do anything. If we didn't come to God, we bother God, God will not do anything. He will be looking at you, he will see you, that you are there. But he is expecting that, come to me, say something to me, let me ask. Hallelujah. 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 How long will you be in that situation? God wants you to know. Oh, yes. Mm. Let's read something from the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 3. You're looking at a time when my time is up, just touch me. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 3. Ephesians 2. Yeah. You take it from the verse number one and then we Ephesians chapter 2? Yeah, chapter 2. The Bible says, mm-hmm. As for you, As for you mm-hmm. you were dead in your transgressions mm-hmm. and sin, mm-hmm. in which you used to live when you you followed the ways of his way of, 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 this, of this world. Yeah. And of the ruler mm-hmm. of the kingdom oh, of the air. the air. It's okay. Yes. It's enough. As for you, you've been dead. In your transgressions and sin. When you used to live. That means no longer. Mm. No longer living with the transgressions and sins. But you used to live. But when we read it further, and he said, and now you'll be risen with Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So that means, we have a ruler of the air. Mm. Who causes people to disobey? It is there. It, it is there. Verse number two, talk about it. That when you used to live in the world and you act in those days, the way you do act, as disobedient children, But now you are no more under that. You are under the suppression of the Spirit of God. So you have that authority that when you pray, immediately you pray, then God will come into your situation and He will set you free. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And the Bible says, mm-hmm. and Paul and Silas, they were praying. Now, they were praying. Mm-hmm. As they were praying, Peter was in prison. Mm-hmm. And he is in prison, and the next day they will be headed him. Mm-hmm. But as they were praying, they were praying in the middle of the night. Then the angel of God appeared in the prison. The Bible described the prison as four squad prison. That means in the prison they have the first gate, they have the second gate, they have the third gate, and they have the fourth gate. But he is inside. As they were praying, the Bible says, and the angel appeared. Hallelujah. 
And Peter was just relaxing in his sleep. He is just sleeping for his death. But in his sleep, he said, and the angel came to me. He wake up. And then the angel said, wake up and follow me. He look at him. He thought he's still dreaming his dream. And he said, wake up and follow me. Bible describes it that he has been chained, the arms and the legs. Somebody in the chain, and you are telling him to follow you. How can he follow you? Hallelujah. Then he just wake up. As he wake up, the Bible describes it that the chain at his hand and the feet, they all fell down. Without key, without nothing. Everything fell down. And then he followed up. The Bible describes that the, the, first, the first gate. When they reach the gate, the gate opened itself. The second gate opened itself. The third gate opened itself. The fourth gate opened itself. Hallelujah. And Amen. then Peter looked at himself and uh, said, Am I dreaming? Uh, what is happening? Uh -huh. And then he saw himself outside. Amen. 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 Say, Go. So prayer can do something. Amen. Prayer can lose those in captivity. Prayer can lose those in chain. Hallelujah. And prayer can break down barriers. Amen. Prayer can restore things. Amen. No matter what your condition is, Amen. it's only prayers. Pray to Him. He will answer you. He will come. We are going to pray. Everything that you are facing now, we are going to pray. And then in this prayer, you have to tell God as you are the prayer answering God. Peter said, uh, Paul says, the gospel that we preach is the power of God. If the gospel we are preaching is really the power of God, the God has to support his power. He has to show his power. That the gospel we are preaching is not vain. Hallelujah. It's the word of God that is power in it. So when he tells us to resurrect, they will come back to life. That is the gospel we are preaching. We are not preaching the gospel to go and eat, sit down and eat. But we are preaching the gospel that is power. Hallelujah. It is God's power. We are carrying the power of God in our hands. So when we speak to the dead, they have to raise power to life. Amen. When we tell the sickness, go down in Jesus' name, they have to destroy Hallelujah. That is the authority we are carrying. Mm. Oh, Shekandala mm. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory. We are in your presence now. As your Bible describes you, that you are the God of power, a God of authority. We want you to prove your authority and your supremacy. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We want you to prove your supremacy, Lord. When your children were facing the race face to face, and Moses cried unto you, say, God, what am I going to do in this situation? You ask him, Moses, what are you having in your hand? He stretched it over the Red Sea. And it came to pass that when Moses did that, Father, you parted the Red Sea. Father, every Red Sea in presence of your children now, we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be parted, Lord. 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 Father, every mountain that sets itself in front of us that we cannot penetrate, that we cannot come through, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we take authority. It's not by our power, it's not by our minds, but according to your word. According to your word. The Bible describes your word as a living word that has power and authority. Your word speaks your word acts. Hallelujah. Let your word speak on the behalf of your children. Let your word act on behalf of your children. Those who are sick, Lord, we commit them into your hands, Lord. That Lord will touch them with your mighty. Let your healing hands come down.
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I every sickness. I have every sickness. I have every sickness in her body, Lord. We give you glory, we give you praise, we give you thanks. We adore you and we Oh, Jesus. Because the message we carry is very powerful. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Every message we are moving with. Hmm. Father, anything that comes across your message, the Bible describes you as any man who falls on you, hmm. who stumbles and breaks himself. Hallelujah. But when that rod falls on them, hmm. they will be mashed into pieces hmm. and they will become powerless. Hallelujah. Father, therefore, I pray, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, that every sickness Every sickness that is in her body now. Father, let that sickness listen to your word now. Let every sickness disappear in her body. In Jesus' name. Father, let every sickness Hallelujah. disappear in her body. That praise and glory will be given to your name. I thank you. I praise you. You are the healing father. Jesus, when you need the sick. You set your faith. Mm. Let your faith be. Mm. Go, you will be well. Thank you, Jesus. I ask that to go now. In Jesus' mighty name, that she will be well in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.